and today i shall teach you how to make oxtail in a clay pot hello there my name is rita out of the cooking nurse and today i'm going to be showing you how to make oxtail in a clay pot but first i heard there is a group of women that do not know how to bake a chaco stove from scratch so here we go we are going to be using a polythene bag to light this one i want you to look around you take a deep breath and look around you all the big problems we have in the world please focus on those ones not this polythene bag thank Thank you so much the other option is pine or sticks that have a lot of sap that can hold a lot of fire but i didn't have those ones you can also use paper like writing paper you're going to use a whole rim and a whole lot of time but this is so much quicker because the polythene bag doesn't burn out so quickly so you're going to be able to hold a lot of heat and it's going to spread around if it's in an open space so that the oxygen is flowing freely and that fire is going to spread properly well around your charcoal and there you have it your stove is already lit and just like the african woman you are spread this charcoal around using your bare hands okay thank you and then put on your pot for a minute before you add in anything we have this oxtail that i got from sky meat shop if you follow me on instagram you already know about this shop that sells clean halal meat and yeah we're going to go on and remove this extra fat that is on the oxtail by the oxtail is a really really fat cut so fatty cut so we're going to remove that extra fat and it's what we're going to be using to fry the oxtail itself so if your pot has already heated up put in that fat and render it like make it um, melt before you put in the oxtail instead of using oil just use this fat and then we're going to go in with our oxtail and mix mix properly i love to cover my clay pot so that this heat is well distributed and do not forget to season at this stage because we want the whole process to go step by step and our meat to be seasoned to the bone so we cover the pot and let the heat circulate in there because it can't escape well the kafa has a small hole that means we only lose a very little amount of heat and then you're going to make sure your oxtail is like golden brown before anything else so we have these ingredients we have uh, an onion a red or purple onion we have some local garlic i'm going to be using a few cloves and then we have lots of tomatoes five of them organic tomatoes okay and that is all we're going to be using sometimes you could add in maybe tomato paste but that's why we have a lot of tomatoes we are not going to be using tomato paste so go in ahead once your oxtail is golden brown add in the onions and garlic and mix them into this fat until they are golden brown and translucent and fragrant and then you can go in with your very many tomatoes and in that time please take a breath and subscribe to this channel okay thank you so much it's so free give this video a like if you watched up until this time share it with your friends wherever you know people can pick interest from it helps me grow and let's continue we're going to be adding in our black pepper and my very beautiful arabian or arabic paprika that my friend sasha sent and i'm using it like this small small i know you can't see my hands but like small small so that it doesn't get finished soon before she sends another one and then i'm going to be adding in worcestershire sauce and dark soy sauce mainly for the color and the umami make sure to control your salt these sauces have salt no i know most of you don't actually test these sauces all you know is you watch her video and someone is saying use this sauce use that sauce but you do not know how they test please when you're done watching this video go and test all those sauces you have on the shelf and know how they taste and understand the difference they make in your dishes okay so because the clay pot is like hot the heat is in there the tomatoes are going to break out so evenly and you may be tempted to say okay this is enough stew so i'm not going to add in my play my friend mm -mm this is a tough cut if you've watched kato you know how they wiggle like their tail this is a tail yeah oxtail is a tail so it's tough and it needs to be cooked for a long time so please add in some little bit of stock or water and then refill the charcoal stove or sigiri with extra charcoal before you take it outside or out of your way so that it can cook uh, on a very paste speed not too much fire and not too little fire and this cooked for about three hours two to three hours yes it got burnt a little bit on the bottom so make sure to keep on checking your 
a fire i put it outside and went inside but it was nice see how tender and succulent that is please make sure to buy your meat from sky meat shop follow me on instagram and all my other socials and then garnish your meat with any fresh herbs of your choice i love coriander and that is it i served this with rice and it was a hit if i tell you if i say so so tender no bone went the bean anyways i'll see you soon in my next videos bye